All right, Mr. Sansomino, back at you. This question, a little different. We're talking about questions six and seven, and sometimes on the test they'll say questions six and seven pertain to a paragraph. And we're talking about science here, okay? It says one hot summer day, it rained very heavily, which means it rained a lot, okay? After the rain, a plastic pan on a picnic table had two centimeters of rainwater in it. So just think about it, like you go on a picnic or in your backyard, you leave a dish or a bowl outside, it rains a lot, and then the pan fills up with water about this high. Okay, four hours later, all the rainwater in the pan was gone. Now the mystery here, what we're gonna to try to figure out is what happened to the rainwater, okay? And when we come back, we're gonna figure it out. And we're going to have two questions, questions six and seven, that we're going to try to answer together. All right, so stay tuned. All right, so we're back. All right, I had an opportunity to switch the question up. All right, so if you remember our story, what happened was it rained very heavily the other day, and we left out a pan, and about two centimeters of water had filled up the pan. But then about four hours later, for some reason, all the water was gone. So what we're trying to figure out is where did the water go? But here's how they try to trick us on the test. They give us that paragraph and they give us two questions to answer. Here's the first one. It says, which process caused the rainwater in the pan to disappear as it sat outside in the hot air? <clears throat> now remember, we're talking about keywords. Process is a key word. When they talk about process, they're talking about the chemical change. What happened? Well, they already told us that the water was sitting in what kind of air? Hot air, right? So if it's sitting outside in hot air, let's look at this pan. Here's the water, and here's the sun shining, okay? What's gonna happen when you add heat and water? Let's wait a minute and answer that. Let's look at our choices. The first choice is condensation, okay? Now when they talk about condensation, they're talking about water, but they're not talking about water evaporating. They're just talking about water changing its chemical state. You have condensation when, let's say, you have a plastic jar, okay, and it's really hot outside, and there's a lid, and you see all these little beads of water on the side of the jar. That's condensation. But in the question, it says that the water disappeared. All right? So condensation is out. There goes our favorite word, evaporation. Now, we know that that might be the right answer, but let's hold off one second. We're going to put the question off there, because I know what you're saying right now. It's evaporation. It's evaporation. But wait a minute. We've got to check the other answers. Precipitation. Well, if you remember from our other questions, precipitation is when it rains, it sleets, it snows, it hails. So this is not talking about that. So that's out. And there goes that ugly word, erosion. We haven't had a question about erosion yet. So we're not talking about the ground opening up or anything like that. So that's out too. So yeah, again, evaporation is a key word. And what I want to point out to you is that a lot of times on these tests, they're going to repeat the same answer over and over again. They're just going to change up the question. All right, so keep that in mind when you're taking the test. And don't get nervous if you're constantly putting the same answer. It's put in that way to change your mind, maybe to shake up your brain. All right?